Okay. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Oh, nice. We all got to name some L. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. So that keys are outside. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped out at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. I wonder if the girl ever got to pee. Energy. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Hmm. Who cares about money? Help the greedy, of course. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Well. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. AA plus or triple A plus? Oh, don't look at them. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. sure. 
Let's go have a look around. I cool. have to get and out. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. By the way, I noticed an error I made in my recording. I'm supposed to record voice separately. But I just figured out that I'm also recording Jesus. the voice in fraps. So... This is disgusting. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if Ron gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. I mean, look how much they have decayed, and it has been only like one day or something. It's... They should rot away soon, I hope. Um. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. You know this is my family guy right there. And you see him as a monster like this, stuck. Under this telephone pole. A few seconds of searching it, we'll know if he has the keys. It's a combination lock. Uh. <laughs> the TV remote? Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Huh? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Huh. That's some advanced stuff. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. It's not enough. If you could crush the windows, perhaps. That would cause some noise. Maybe too much noise. Can't reach that brick. Why can't I? How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. I can't reach that brick. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. But, uh, my stat stick, if we could just... Let's head back inside. Okay. Yeah, let, let's go for that uh, stick, I think.
I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. It would be nice to find some batteries. Might. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Yeah. Maybe if I synchronize the sounds uh, exactly, it might not be noticeable, but we'll see. Talk to Carly. She's Carly, right? Hey, Carly. Whoa. Uh, I better get back to it. Yep. Yes. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. You're ready to Just head remember out. what I said. Yeah. I will. Is this... I want to make sure the toilet's safe. Um... Oh, energy bone. Another. That's cool. Maybe the other boy. Oh, another energy bone. Maybe to get good terms with these guys. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Okay. We got a third one. Let's we give it. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Well, someone ought to ask her. I'm just trying to do the best I can. You are all she's got. And from the looks of it, that's a two-way street. Gotcha, give the guy a break. No, Ken. We don't know how long this is going to last. That girl needs someone to be there for her. And from the looks of it, Lee could use the same. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. Yeah. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They're uh, gone. Oh my goodness. Do you think? How? I just know, all right? Cat, it's not our business. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. Yes, but... We uh, didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Easy to say. thing is when things happen that fast it's you make a decision what you think is best for the moment but in hindsight it might not be the best but it's easy to say to let go and stuff so I can't pick this up uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street 
yeah. But that stick would be so good to just... Gah! Okay. Um, well, that wasn't working, so... doing good want to go have a look around outside yes let's have a look around okay okay by the way what did that guy on the walkie-talkie say I forgot already I can't reach that brick but we need those keys yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there yeah it didn't work why can't I reach I need a longer arm. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh, shit. Well... Um... There's, there's no much point of being here. I was thinking if we could get that walking stick, we could pull that brick and crash the window. Maybe they will be, let's go, and go over there and I could just run out. But we, we need the key, right? Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? But look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Shit. Let's head back inside. Okay. Maybe we were supposed to go out on the back alley together with that girl, with her gun and the third guy. So let's try that. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. 